Hi guys, in this video we will be learning a case study of a local coastal environment which will be Weymouth Beach. First of all I'm going to start with a little introduction to the geographical context of the Weymouth Bay area. So this is the Weymouth Bay here on this map and as you can see there's some very distinct geographical features here. So you can't really see this part of the map here, but this is the Isle of Portland and the, this is attached to the mainland by Chesil Beach, which is a barrier beach, which we've learned about in our videos on coast, which runs all the way along this coast here and joins up the island to the mainland. And this is a very significant feature when we're looking at the coastal processes in the Weymouth Bay because this Chesil Beach and the island itself shelter this bay from coastal erosion. So starting with the geographical context, Weymouth Bay, which is the area we're going to be looking at, is a sheltered bay on the south coast of England in Dorset. So this is the Dorset region here. And you can see the area much better on this satellite photo here. This being the Weymouth Bay. This is Chesil Beach here, this very straight line of beach called the Barrier Beach. And this is the Isle of Portland. So the bay is situated approximately halfway along the UNESCO Jurassic Coast World Heritage Site. And this is a very important place. And it's a 153 kilometer stretch of coastline, which is really significant and important because it has very varied geology and also many unique coastal landforms as well. So looking specifically at the Weymouth Bay area here, the shape of the coastline is a gently curving arc. And in this Weymouth Bay area, we are, our beaches here are made of sand. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, the bay is protected from erosion by Chesil Beach and the Isle of Portland. This is because most of our currents are coming from a northern or easterly direction. So they'll be coming this way. And on this beach, we've got longshore drift, which has created the island here. But this area here in the bay is very much sheltered from any currents that we have in the area. Whereas the beach, which is further down along this beach, will be very much susceptible to longshore drift. But in particular, Weymouth Bay is very much sheltered. And one other important factor is that the southern tip of the Portland Island forms a major headland that produces 10 kilometers into the English Channel. And this forms a regional sediment transport boundary this point here and as we've learnt in earlier videos in coast about sediment cells this is the border between two sediment cells that we can see here on either side. Hi guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level geography videos just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level geography a walk in the park.